caught them. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a pack of boys in need of her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you work in at home, this is a reminder these punks she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is a close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. All right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally going to be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. for me yeah though it's not as much as last time it's enough nona thinks you're an angel the dawn hates seeing food go to waste and this this has got to be tammy sarah told us all about you that right you're a famous race driver tom everyone talks about you yeah she's right they do Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. It's, um, uh, it's a good night for a walk, anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you've got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you've got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? Will you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi? Then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yes, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. Well, if you did, you wouldn't last long. 
I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger. But he's all washed up now. Mm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going there, sweet <clears throat> cheeks? Back off! Hey! Billy Trey. You're some kind of dish, <clears throat> ain't you? <clears throat> Get away from me! Twist like these wings get out of that grease. Open him up. Let's see all the way. You even touch me and you're dead. You're wasting your time with a dead man. You don't need a real guy. I'm not the kind of game you mess with, pal. Hey! now hope you're better than your friends that's what I got you son of a bitch Look, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. <laughs> Take another. <sighs> All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. 
The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you, anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. That's up, though. This can't stand. But Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. The friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good, huh? Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks that been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something the bus sets, that's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh. Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny.
about time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. You fat bastard. How you doing? Starfish, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Polly. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. The Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, he'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. I'm telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs>
Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! Tom, the road's a river. Don't worry, I we got this. We them out! You ever see guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. They ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? They think they're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have. Some son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Go on a pop, you thought. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. 
You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Yes, I'm out. But this one's finished too. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Thank you.